Hi, this is Cherry Gidry of Cherry Blossoms, and I love adding a touch of hand embroidery to my designs. Over the last year or so, I've been stitching out my hand embroidery with our fill 12 weight thread and stitch number six on my machine. Now the default setting on this machine is a, a stitch length of three, but I typically decrease this to about a 2.85 when I get started, and I will increase or decrease that stitch length depending on the project that I'm working on. Very important is to use the right needle for your project and in this case the top stitch 9014 needle is perfect. And then in the bobbin I just have a Norfil 50 weight thread. So let me thread the machine and show you how easy it is to hand embroidery with your sewing machine. Isn't that perfect? Alrighty, let's get started. We have the machine ready to go. We've selected stitch number six. I have it set at 2.85 for the stitch length and my fabric has been stabilized and designed traced. So let me show you how easy and fun this is. I'm going to manually bring the needle down to the starting point, just to be exact. And this is a triple stitch. It takes three steps to complete a cycle. It goes forward, returns, and comes back front. That completes the cycle. So whenever it's taking those three stitches, you don't want to pivot your fabric around. You just want to leave it in one place. Now I have the knee lift on my machine. If you don't have yours out, you've got to pull it out of that box and start using it. It took me a long time, but once I did, I absolutely loved it. And now I sew and do everything with my knee lift. Great feature. Okay, let's give this a try. Now I'm going to lift the presser foot and just pivot a little bit. Now I love the presser foot number 20. In this case, it's 20D because you have such a nice area to see what you're stitching out. So I'm just taking slow stitching steps and just lifting my presser foot and pivoting. your foot and pivot. Now my curve is getting a little bit tighter so I'm going to decrease the stitch length to 2.6 and continue. Now it's getting even tighter, so let's decrease. I'm going to drop down to 2.50 and even tighter. Let's go down to a 2.45, and I think that's going to take care of it. I'm going to lift my presser foot up, needle up, and then just take 
this out. Now when you store it and when you end, you always want to leave yourself some nice long threads, about four or five inches. And then turn your project around and just tug on that thread with your bobbin thread. And then pull that thread, that top stitch thread to the back. And just tie a little surgeon's knot. And that holds it nice and tight. So I want to unravel later on. And clip the threads. Now sometimes you'll have a little trouble bringing those threads to the back because they've just kind of sewn each other together. So you can take a self thread needle or I just like to use one of the chenille 24 needles. They have a really nice large eye. And then I have this uh, clover yarn threader and when you're doing a lot of this, this goes very quickly. And just slide it through that little loop. Pull it through. And then just bring this right back to your starting point. And there you go. And then you just continue doing all your stitching. You can do it all in one color and just achieve the look of red work. Um, or just follow the recommended colors in the pattern that I gave you. Uh, and once you've done all your stitching, just remove the tearaway stabilizer from the back and complete your little project. You can really get this done in just a few hours in an afternoon and have a cute, simple project to decorate for the holidays. Thanks so much for watching.